Welcome to part 9 of our Dying Light 2 Stay Human Developer Tools Guide. In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can script a quest and place objectives into the story system. Scripting may sound a bit scary at first, but don't worry. In Developer Tools, you don't need to know a programming language to program a quest. Not when we can use pre-prepared blocks called nodes. Before we start programming our quest, we can determine the time, weather and skills of the player. Let's close this validator window from the previous episode. Spread out the start end blocks to make some room for ourselves. Right click on our empty space. Choose Add Node to create a new block and write Time. Choose Set Date Time. Click on the line connecting our start end blocks and press Delete on your keyboard. Connect Start to Set Date Time. In this block, we can set the time of the day and the weather. I'm going to go with 5 p.m. and rainy weather. Right-click on the empty space to add another new node and write Preset. Select Set Player Preset. Move them in closer if you want and connect it to our last one. In this block, we can choose a preset of player skills and equipment to speed up the whole process. Choose the three dots next to the preset name. Search for Progress and go with Progress 50% for now. If you want to add another skill for the player, you need a node called Give Skill. Let's drag out the line from Set Player Preset to look for it. Choose Give Skill and Confirm. Let's click the three dots to give our player a specific skill. We're going to give our character the ability called Nagewaza. Nagewaza means grapple. We're also going to need a node block called Give Item. Pull the output of our previous block and drop it on the empty space. By using this block, you can add items or clothes to the player's inventory. Click the three dots, write Torso Tier 9 and choose Melee DPS. That way, you will supply the player with this jacket. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom out. Move the end block further away to make more room and let's zoom in on the blocks that we'll be working on. We've prepared our base. Time to script our quest. Drag out the line from out to create the objective. Find Start Objective under the quest type. Click the three dots and create our first objective. We will go with Reach Bandit Camp, which we set up in the previous episode. To see all of our objectives, we can extend our quest from the previous tutorial episode in the Objectives Editor. We can even see they are listed in the same order from the last episode. Now we need to add a block that will use Sensor Go To Prefab. Sensor Go To is a tool that indicates the location our player must reach. Drag out the line, write Go To, and choose it. Click Windows and choose Attributes. Our Entity function allows us to connect our sensor Go To from our map to the story. Click three dots, write Go To, and choose Go To Start. In the Distance field, we can expand the size of our sensor Go To in the event that we want the destination area to be larger for the player. Let's change it to 1. Also, below you can define if you want to have a marker appear on the map compass or in the environment when the player starts to approach the quest's location. Since we need three progress go-to sensors, we'll have to duplicate this block two times by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Move them and connect them to each other. We'll need to change the entity for the second one to go to middle. Then for the last one change it to go to end. After the player reaches our destination, we'd like to start the second objective, but first we need to signal that to the game. Let's move our line to the right, write Objective and go with Complete Objective. Click on the three dots to convey to the game that the player has successfully reached the bandit camp. And since we need more room, we can move our end block to the very end. Now we can start the second objective. The process is going to be very similar. Once more, look for Start Objective. After you press on the three dots, you will choose our second main objective. Kill Bandits. To set up this quest properly for our player, we'll have to create a kill count. 
we'll need to use the clear area prefab that we placed on our map earlier. So, add a new block called Clear. Click the plus icon in our Entities field. Here, you can choose our Area Clear prefab. With that, the game will keep track of all the enemies killed by our player inside our clear area. Let's add another completed objective and start the third one. Choose Kill Bandits for Complete and Power Up for Start. Now we need to force the player to use the switch. Right-click, add a new node and write Use. In the Use block, Next to the desired value, we need to pick On. This makes it so that our current objective will be completed when the player activates the switch. Also, in the Entities field, we need to choose our switch. So, press the plus icon, click the three dots, and select our third quest switch. Once this is done, close the objective with Completed Objective. Create a new block, find Objective, and then choose Power Up. And now add our start objective for the last objective in our quest, called Finders Keepers. And since that involves retrieving an item, we'll need a Take block. Write Take, choose Take Item. This will detect the player picking up a quest item. Select the Take Item block, click the plus icon in the Entities field, click the three dots, and select Quest Item. Also change required count to 1, because the player will only need to have one item. Let's add the final complete objective block. So, objective, complete objective. Finders keepers. We can finally connect it to our end block. Press Ctrl S to save our story. As you can see, we have a warning about using the set player preset. We can ignore the message since we do want to use it. Click on your map icon, then the play icon to check if the quest works in the game. Press yes to save. Time and weather seem to be working, and it would appear our first objective has already started. In the inventory, I can see the jacket that I gave to the player, and in the journal, we have our quest description. I can also see that it is labeled as Story Quest. In the skill tree, the player has the grapple skill activated. The first objective has been completed. Now I need to kill all the bandits, marked with a yellow indicator. Done. Now I need to activate the switch and pick up the book. Everything seems to work. We've successfully created and played our first quest. And that's all for part 9. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the topic of cutscenes. Thanks for watching!